Pog? A lot has happened. First of all, a piece of my brace has fallen off. It's like the most integral piece. So now my wire is like flapping about. I don't know if it's all gonna come off. I don't know what's gonna go on. I've just realized something that's blown my mind. As part of my office, I have a glass board which needs to go on the wall. Rose has one too. And I was just thinking like, yeah, it's sustainable. What's it made out of? Isn't it made of sand? How did we make glass? If glass is sand, then sand is glass. Wait, sand came first. People tell me that sand was tiny bits of glass. I'm gonna ask Rose, this is crazy. Rose, did your mum ever tell you that sand is just loads of glass worn yeah. down by the oceans? So how did we have sand before we invented glass? Oh my God, chicken and egg scenario. Help me, I'm confused. I'm busy earning the money. <gasps> just stand over there and look pretty for the love of God. Another thing I just realized is, I was speaking to Rose and my friend Hannah the other day who went to Australia and I was like, oh, Hannah in Australia, when you looked at a world map, was England still at the top? Or is it different because in Australia, they're on the other side of the world, right? So it'll be like flipped over and they like were really laughing at me like, <laughs> like obviously no, like England will still be like where it is and stuff because that's how it is on the globe. I was like, how do you know though? How do you know that's the right way it is? And they said, yeah, but when you come, if people go up into space, right, and take pictures of the world, that's what it looks like. And I was like, yeah, but it depends where they are in space. What if they've been upside down in space and they thought that England's kind of here and some stuff down here and some stuff over America kind of over here. But actually, no, they were upside down and we, the whole, what if it's upside down? And my friend Hannah was like, well, what about gravity? And I was like, they don't have gravity in space, so that affects nothing. I really don't see why anyone else hasn't thought of this before. Good morning, guys. How's it going? Rose and I are on a trip. We're going to the vets, the dog's in the boot, but you can't see. And then we're gonna go to the dentist to try and get like my bit that fell off buckled back on. I don't know what it's called, but my braces end put back on. If anyone was gonna break their braces, it was gonna be you, wasn't it? Oh. So we get a hot chocolate one out. There's this amazing oh, shop where we're going. Chocolate. And it does like um, it does like real natural, like just loads of vegan stuff. Like it does a vegan Nutella milkshake, and there's like this spiced apple cinnamon drink. Will you take me there with the dog? I would love to. Yeah. I would absolutely love to, and leave you there. Not car side, like when I've got this Suzanne boil. You don't actually look too bad. Rose had a Suzanne boil. My spots are clearing up, still there, but they're getting better. Oh, the content they subscribed for. Yeah, they love they love hearing the ups and downs of my hormonal outbreak. <laughs> a speed camera. What does that mean? Uh, it means you have to go the right speed, but Incorrect. that's the law. It's make sure you're speeding. Mm -hmm. Oh, we haven't told them. What? Last year, in the car, we told you we were going to Costa Rica, so why break tradition? Let's keep it the way it is. Wait, let me tell them with you. Why should you get to says it? We've booked a holiday in January. So this year, mm. Rosie next and I... Year. So next year... 2019. Rosie and I are going to... Havana Unana. Yes, we are those stands. We are so desperately in love. I was telling someone the other day, it's not the only reason we're going to Havana. It's only 90% of the reason. Also, Rose's parents went to Havana and said it was incredible. So we're going to Havana with Dave and Sherry. Yeah, with Dave and Sherry. I cannot wait. Yeah. Havana Unana. And apparently, Havana is in or near Cuba. So we're going to Cuba <laughs> as well. I'm sorry, this is the most British conversation ever, but I reckon that two weeks is gonna be too long. Ah! And that 10 days is your perfect amount. That's what I think. But, but we're doing a week in Havana, a week in, right, it's Cuba, it's Havana and Cuba. If you don't know that, you don't get to go. But listen, because what I didn't get is we're in Havana, but there's no beach, but then we're going to Cuba and there is a beach. I don't really understand. Rosie, just look at a map. Apparently look there's place. sharks in the sea. I can't wait to tell Camila all about it because we're so close. We need to find another beach towel because I swear Shannon or Cabby has still got one of ours. So basically, Rosie and I really need some work from a handyman um, because we can't do stuff no, sometimes, unfortunately, as much as I hate to admit it. And Rosie went, yeah, I just don't want to have to go through all the... Rigamore. <laughs> Say it again. Rigamore <laughs> of finding another one. <laughs> Have I got poets in my place? I have to be poets. What are you saying? Rigamore. <laughs> what is it? What's the word? I. I. You I, don't know. Rosie, you I've, don't heard, know how to... I've heard your version so many times. I yeah. don't know the real word. You don't know the word. Say it again. Rigamore. <laughs> I've got pole with ways. Rigma. That's your angry voice. She's oh. coming straight to me. Come on then. Wouldn't want to go through the rigmarole. 
What if that is the real word? I'm gonna have to Google it because now I don't know. <laughs> this is when Wilma right. wants the option of the, the door being right. open. So close it. She'll bark. Go on, close it. No, right now open it. See, she wants the option of in or out, so she gets to pick. Wilma. Wilma? No. Right, open it, open it. Right, come on then. And now close it. <gasps> right, right. Rosie, the stamp, the stamp game is just silly, isn't it? <laughs> Excuse me. I just say one of my favorite features of this garden is that weed that weed bed that we haven't done anything with yet <laughs> Wilma, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello, go on in, go on in. <laughs> So the other morning Rosie came down she was like oh I wrote a really good song last night um it was sung by in, dream. in her dream it was sung by Hayley Steinfeld and um I remember every word so I was like I'll sing it <laughs> Come on, Rosie. I'm not that innocent. I'm not that innocent. I'm not that innocent. I'm not that innocent. Yeah, I'm saying it. No wonder you remembered all the words. I'm not that innocent. 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 That's really hard to remember. We're going to make our house more festive because I just don't think it's festive enough, you know? And this is our first Christmas in this house, so that's what we're doing. We've been doing a bit of work as well, we're doing some editing. I'm stressed, actually. Why are you stressed, know. Bobo? Oh, do you know what, Rosie? Oh, do you know what? Sometimes whoa, the dog, her anal glands leaked onto my Slytherin top. Honestly, that's why I'm stressed. And also, the back of the car smells like anal fish. Are you making coffee? Yes, I can make you a coffee. Oh, you offered? Oh, thanks, babe. It's really kind. Ding dong, merrily on high, and having the bells up. <laughs> Okay guys, so Rosie and I decided that this house was not festive enough. So we went through all of our Christmas stuff and decided that we had so many lights. My lisp is unbelievable. <laughs> and these bad boys, I've got Qatar. <coughs> oh, tragic. These lights can't decide what they want. Like many women I know, they haven't settled on one thing and have decided that their behavior is quite erratic. And, uh, and unpredictable. Isn't that right, Rosie? Oh, sorry, I was just reading some neighbourhood gossip. What neighbourhood gossip? Would it be bad to tell everyone that we've made a catfish account just so that we can like keep up to date with the neighbourhood gossip? Just did! Rosie, I'm telling you that- they're... Hey, Rose, they're just staying constant now. Guys, I wanna show you, wait, I wanna show you that I'm not doing it. No, they just did it, look! Guys, I'm here. I'm not, I'm not touching them. Question, look, Rosie, just... have you tried pressing the button? Yeah, babe. They're doing migraine attack again. It's, I know what it's doing. It's running through all the... Look. Babe, it's scary, right? Honestly, Wait, I'm noise? not that scared. Let me try and fix this. I want people to know that I'm not touching them. Look, guys! Okay, there might be an obvious answer. Yeah, which is? You, but has that fixed it? You look good. Has that fixed it, though? Tell me what I already know. I don't know if you guys already know this, but I'm a little sore today. I'm sore from a few days ago when I was crudely pushed down the stairs. Do you want to see the bruise? Yeah, I do. Let's turn the light on and get this, this bruise in shot. <laughs> Thumbnail clickbait. It's not even clickbait. Babe, you've got to learn what clickbait is, all right? I don't want to learn anything about my profession. As soon as I learn it, they'll expect me to know it. Turn around, bend over and whip them down. A genuine bruise from my tragic fall. That is a bit of her ass cheek. Look at that colouring. Do you know what that reminds me of, Rose? What? Do you remember when you had your hernia? Yes. She pushed me down the stairs. I don't even know who she is. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Number one, why have I got so much phlegm? Number two, sleep is one of the most important things you can have. That and um, a friend who's willing to fake laugh if your joke falls flat. It has to be a convincing fake laugh though. Do your best convincing fake laugh. Oh god, that's okay. Wait, okay, here's mine. Go on, go on. I'm very, con I'm very Are convincing. Are you? Okay, yes. go on. No. <laughs> oh no, I can tell. I realised since turning 30 that a good sleep actually helps my makeup go on better the next day. Like, if I have a bad sleep, 
you can tell not only in the way that I feel, but also the way that I look. Fortunately, Rosie and I have a similar mattress. Now, I've never slept on a lion before, and I must say, my sleeps are fantastically deep. I fall and I sink straight into it, into a place of pure tranquility. Probably one of the best sleeps I've had in a very long time. Um, Same. If I wanted you to be a part of this spawn, I would have asked for oh, okay. it, right? Hey, if you were to write a song about your Simba mattress, oh my god, they'll love this. This is great spawn. I'm laying on the bed right now, oh, and my know. bum is comfy. I'm not the innocent. <laughs> Mash up. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> it's my sequel to Innocent. It's called Innocent the Simba Remix. <laughs> I love it. Innocent the Simba Remix. Let's go. I snuggle down warm and cozy. I fall asleep right away. I'm not that innocent. innocent. Are you so comfy on your Simba? All your toys have gone to sleep. Ah. Dude, of course. My socks are ugly. I'm going. Here it is, guys. Isn't it beautiful? All I've got to do now is hide that wire for the love of God. Gonna tap that round the door frame. That's gonna look nice. <laughs> walkie, 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 walkie. Welcome. Oh. It's the relaxation zone. Oh, hi, Rosie. How's it going? Good evening. You look lovely. Have you just been out walking the dog? I have actually just been walking the dog. I think it's fair to say yes. that throughout our marriage, you have been incredibly dangerous to wake. I could sleep if you left me till 2 p.m. in the day. Having a good mattress only increases my ability to sleep more. <laughs> I'm actually exhausted, so I'm actually going to go to bed. Do you like this, by the way? I do. I love it. It's isn't looking it? lovely, isn't it? Lovely. It's so sweet. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god.